Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, God, we thank you. We give you honor, glory, and praise for all those that enlisted and drafted, Lord God, hallelujah, to serve and protect this country and freedom all over the world. And we thank you for the lives, the memory, Lord God, and we ask that you touch and deliver and help those families of the bereaved and lost loved ones, the children that didn't have a, a father or a mother, Lord God, the siblings and the mother that lost their child, the father that lost their child, all those that sacrificed and the families that sacrificed and bereaved over those, Lord God, that have served our country and served freedom all over the world. And we thank you, Lord God, and we praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of Jesus. Bless us now as we share what you've given to us today. Lord God, bless us. Lord God, bless the work of our hands. And the work that we do here as a ministry, everyone that's here in the name of Jesus, every believer, Lord God, in Christ Jesus, Lord God, we ask, Lord God, on this memorial weekend, we do acknowledge and lift up all those that died in the faith, God, amen, that sacrificed their lives, that were um, um, battered and abused and tortured, Lord God, and amen, whipped, Lord God, no, no more than you, Jesus. Amen. Who sacrificed your life for our liberty, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Your blood washes away our sins. And we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. One more time, give God praise in the name of Jesus. In the 10th chapter, we will be reading from St. John 10. 1 through 18. Amen. Hallelujah. St. John 10, 1 through 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Not the epistle, John, but the, uh, the, the gospel. Amen. Of John. If you have it, amen. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. St. John 10 and one reads verily verily i say unto you that he uh he that entereth not by the door hallelujah into the sheepfold but climbeth up some other way is the same as a what a thief and a robber how many know that god hates a thief and a liar amen but hates a robber as well amen how do, but he that entereth in by the door is the what shepherd of the sheep it's not going to come any other way on that try to escape any other kind of way he has a responsibility the security guard is walking around the building making sure the building is secure amen anybody else in there when they're not supposed to be is is there illegally amen so that's basically what it is saying amen the shepherd is there to tend for the sheep and the sheep is there to follow the shepherd amen how to and do what the shepherds say how did anything else amen is outside the will amen of god and the purpose of why that sheep that shepherd and the sheep are there third verse says to him the porter openeth and and the sheep hear his voice amen and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out they got little notes and clicks and things that they sing or say in the sheep amen hallelujah knows amen their their call to them i saw a program on youtube you might can look it up amen hallelujah that the the shepherd amen had different people come out there to the sheep pasture amen and call for the sheep amen and the more they called the more the sheep did not pay them no mind amen they kept eating the grass and amen hallelujah and out there in the field amen and then the shepherd came and he did a little Amen. And here they come. Hallelujah. Right after him, because amen, the sheep here mm, got to preach all by itself. That's not the message today, but that boy, hallelujah, will preach right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so the sheep hear my voice and my a stranger, they will not follow. Amen. To him, the porter, the doorkeeper, open the, and the sheep hear his voice. He calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. Isn't that a concept? How did he go in front of the sheep, and the sheep follow them? For they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Ah, oh, God, thank you. If only they would flee from him. Hallelujah. For they know not the voice of strangers. It would be a good thing if they fleed from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Wouldn't that be a blessing? This parable.
disciples spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things, amen, they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. And let me break this down to you. You didn't understand what I was saying, so let me clear, clarify this thing to you. Amen. Hallelujah. I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Amen. Because they were not called to hear them. Amen. Hallelujah. They was not created to hear them. Amen. But to hear him. Amen. Look at somebody and say, don't hear them. Hallelujah. Hear him. Hallelujah. Don't hear them. Hallelujah. Hear him. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Who is your shepherd? Look at somebody else. I'm acting like this fool. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. And ask them. Hallelujah. Do you hear the shepherd? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear what the shepherd is saying? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am the door, and by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. I am the door, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. I am the door, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. We'll find food, amen, we'll find nourishment, find the sustenance, amen, the necessities of life. Hallelujah, if you come in, amen, hallelujah, you'll find pasture, amen, hallelujah, from the pastor. Oh, Lord, have mercy, isn't that something? Hallelujah, pastor from the pastor, from the shepherd, amen. Amen. How did the thief cometh not? Ah, God, this is our key scripture right here, the 10th verse, amen, of, amen, uh, first, uh, St. John 10 and 10. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that something? Hallelujah. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to what? Destroy. I am come, I'm here, that, that they may have life and that they have, might have it more abundantly. How, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd, amen, giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling is not the shepherd. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whose own is the sheep are not. They don't belong to him. He was hired, amen, to shepherd them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So he don't care what happens to them. Amen. He just doing his job. Amen. And clock out and go home. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, Lord Jesus. And seeth not the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is a hireling. Amen. And care not for the sheep. Lord Jesus, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and know and, and, and am known my, of, my, of mine. Amen. And my sheep and, and, and am known of mine. How do I am the good shepherd and know my sheep. And am known of my sheep. Amen. Known of mine. As the father knoweth me, even so I the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the other sheep, I, which are not of this fold, them I must bring and shall be, I shall hear, amen, my voice. And they shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me because I lay my life Hallelujah. I laid down my life that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down myself of myself and I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it again. This commandment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have I received of my father? Amen. Hallelujah. The key verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The 10th verse. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill and to destroy. But I am here. I am come that you may have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to lift up the subject this morning. Life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to lift up that subject. Life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Life is, is described as existing. Amen. Being a part, amen, of what they like to call the zeitgeist. Amen. The part of life. Amen. The part of, amen, the linear, amen, uh, timeline that we are all, amen, appointed to be. Amen. It was appointed unto man once to die and after death, the judgment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God has given all of us, amen, hallelujah, an opportunity, 
Amen. Hallelujah. It's not predetermined. I have to submit to you that it's not predetermined. Amen. Because the Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father that their days may be long upon the earth. Amen. And so you can, you can extend your days. Amen. And God, and the Bible says you can shorten your days. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, we can lengthen it and we can shorten it by our, amen, hallelujah, commitment to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How did, what is life according to the scriptures? I'm glad you asked the question. Thank you so much. How are you helping the pastor? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Genesis 2 and 7 say, and the Lord formed man of, of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Somebody say breath of life. And man became a living soul. Our life came from God. He breathed into us. Amen. Hallelujah. The breath of life. He breathed life into us. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we all dogs don't go to heaven. Amen. That's why your cat and your, I'm sorry. Amen. Your gerbil, all that stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. They gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he created them. Amen. He fashioned us and breathed into us the breath of life. Amen. Hallelujah. And man became what? A living soul. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't have a soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry. Amen. Hallelujah. For making you feel bad. Old spotting. Amen. Kitty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But we thank God that we know that God breathed into man the breath of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And man became a living soul. Amen. Even in creation, he gave us life. Hallelujah. Amen. That we, and he told them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Amen. Touch everything in the garden except the tree of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't touch the what? Tree of life. He gave them that tree of life. Amen. To look at. Amen. To adorn his garden. Amen. To give him the authority and the rule. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we can't call it a tree. We can call it what Moses named it. A tree. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a symbol of life itself. Amen. Hallelujah. And he told them not to mess with it. Don't touch it. Amen. Don't bother it. Amen. Maybe, I don't know, God wanted to join in that garden. Amen. The carnal man, the flesh of man. Amen. And his creation and his divineness. Hallelujah. In that garden as well. Amen. So he put good and evil. He put life in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The tree of knowledge he put there. Amen. That's the ones that were named. We don't know how many trees he put there. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What's the symbol of a tree? I can say. Amen. Hallelujah. Because like I said, we don't know what God did, but we, we can talk about what Moses wrote. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so we thank God that they, we know that they ate of the fruit that God told them not to eat of. Amen. Hallelujah. And they, and they were kicked out of the garden. And the Lord's God, amen. Uh, Genesis 2 and 9 said, and out of the ground made the Lord to grow every tree that is pleasant, amen, to the sight and good for food. But the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, amen, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord God said, behold, man has become one of us. Hallelujah. To know good and evil. And now let's put forth his hand and take him also. Amen. And take also the tree of life and eat. Amen. And live forever. Amen. So he booted him out. Amen. So God drove out the man and, and play in the place east of the Garden of Eden. Amen. Cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life, tree of life, to keep them from the tree of life. Genesis 3, 24 said. So this thing came from God. Amen. This life that we live came from God. Who we are is from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Behold, even I do bring forth a flood of waters upon the earth, destroy all to destroy all flesh, wherein the breath of life. Uh, hallelujah. From under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. That's when he was going to destroy. Amen. Through Noah. Amen. Hallelujah. Save. Amen. Every kind. Amen. Two of every kind. Hallelujah. For this earth and destroy everything else. Everything that breathes. Amen. Everything that I put the breath of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Into man. Everyone that is walking upon this earth. Every human is going to die. Ha 
God, but everybody that's in that ark. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A symbol of salvation itself, a symbol of the rapture itself, a symbol of the church itself. Hallelujah. Everybody that comes in. Hallelujah. As Paul said, except you abide in the ship, none shall be saved. Hallelujah. You got to come in. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. Gives me all of my prescription. Amen. He gave me all my medicine in the room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to come on in. Hallelujah. The table is spread. The feast of the Lord is going on. Hallelujah. God has called us. Amen. As believers to be the amen. The present day knowers. Amen. Hallelujah. To let folk know. Amen. That they need to come into God's house. Amen. To come into God's holy house. Amen. Because the rain is about to come. Amen. But God told Noah. Amen. He showed him the rainbow sign and he said it won't be water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But it's going to be fire next time. Hallelujah. You're not ready for hallelujah the last one drown you the next one's going to burn you up hallelujah it's going to destroy your flesh it's going to destroy your land hallelujah you see that lava coming up in hawaii hallelujah they thought i could stay here i can live through it we had this happen before hallelujah thank you jesus but they got to get up and get out of there hallelujah amen hallelujah hallelujah you can hide when the hurricane comes amen you can go in the bathroom when the tornado comes hallelujah. but what you gonna do hallelujah when the ground's coming to you amen hallelujah what you gonna do when the ground is moving hallelujah amen and that lava amen and you'll be dead before the lava get there hallelujah because that methane and all the gases amen the sodium nitrate amen and all that stuff that may come out that sodium oxide that comes out of that ground hallelujah it gonna kill you before that before you feel the heat of that lava hallelujah in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus and so we need to be telling folk how it's gonna rain Jesus is coming back hallelujah and we need to know hallelujah and they need to know that Jesus first of all loves them hallelujah and he died for their sins so no matter what you've done there's nothing you can do to get ready ah right, God thank you how did there's nothing you can do what I gotta do pastor how to repent be baptized every one of you for the remission of your sins Jesus paid it all all to him he got account right there at Wells Fargo all you got to do is go sign in hallelujah and everything is at your disposal hallelujah thank you it's right there waiting on you it's been waiting on you just sign in we need a name we need a signature hallelujah thank you we need a co hallelujah Jesus has signed it we need your co-sign on that can anybody co-sign on the death of the cross anybody can co-sign that Jesus blood will never lose his power hallelujah thank you Jesus he came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. God breathed into man the breath of life and man became a living soul, a living creature. That's why we say we were created in his image and in his likeness. Amen. To show forth the praise of him who has brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. Hallelujah. Amen. He the one that did it. Hallelujah. That's why we give God praise, honor, and glory for it. Because he's worthy to be praised. Come on, put your hands together. And let's give God some praise in the name of Jesus. And just like in the Garden of Eden, amen, man has decided what he's going to do with the life that God has given him. God said, do not eat from the fruit lest you die. The devil said, he, doesn't, he, he knows that the day you eat of, you be like him, knowing good and evil. Eve repeats back to him what God said, but she modified it a bit. Hallelujah. She ain't said it exactly like God. She, in, she reinterpreted it. Amen. Hallelujah. And said it her way. Amen. Can I get a witness in the room? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We reinterpret it and say things our way instead of the way that God said it. Amen. And so the devil used what she didn't know. Amen. And didn't keep with her. Amen. And the teaching that he didn't adhere to, she didn't adhere to, to deceive her. Amen. Into taking of the fruit that God has said don't take of. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hear and be blessed. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive the world and be cursed. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord, I said, and be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. And so we take what God has given to us so preciously. Water he don't need to drink, air he don't need to breathe, food he don't need to eat. And he's given it to us to have authority over, amen, and have dominion over. 
Hallelujah. Amen. But man has his own ideas and his own thoughts and is separated. Amen. Us from God. Cain and Abel came along. Amen. Cain kills Abel because of his favor with God, because of his obedience with God, because of his walk with God. Can I get a witness in this place? Hallelujah. Amen. How, how many have been hurt and murdered? Amen. And talked about and ostracized and, kill, and criticized because of your love of God. Hallelujah. Because of your sincerity with God. Hallelujah. How many of us? Amen. Hallelujah. Has been murdered. Amen. There's something called murder. Amen. A homicide. Taking somebody else's life. Amen. Hallelujah. We go through rituals and play games. Amen. Where we're killing folk. Amen. Hallelujah. Where we just play. Amen. Killing folk and taking folks lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We play homicide. Hallelujah. We ritualistically. Amen. Hallelujah. Kill folk. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I used to play games. The more bloody, the better. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to realize I was serving darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. I didn't realize I was serving darkness. I said, amen. Hallelujah. Because God, amen. Hallelujah. He come that we may have what? Life and have it more abundantly. So we murder, we kill, we take life that God has given. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We murder folk. Amen. And condemn them. We do it not just with knives and guns. Amen. We do it with our tongue. Amen. Hallelujah. We do it by talking about folk. Amen. And turn them down and criticizing folk. Hallelujah. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed, my friend. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Follow Satan and be cursed. Hallelujah. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord and be blessed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against everything that's not like God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are your servants, Lord. Hallelujah. We are the proponents of the word of God and the will of God. Hallelujah. We are carriers of this great gospel and this great truth of the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We defy the devil and anything that will interfere. Hallelujah. With the hearing of God's word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Long life was promised. Amen. To the obedient children of God. Those who keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. Amen. Hallelujah. He said long life. I'll satisfy you and show you my salvation over there in Psalms. God is the creator of all life. Amen. Hallelujah. So he can say when he says with long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Guess what? Hallelujah. You can have life ever abundantly life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflowing. Hallelujah. More than I can imagine. You've given me hallelujah that life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But as, as, as Solomon said over there in Ecclesiastes, amen, hallelujah, we have vanity of life. Amen. We're vain in our life. We're vain with our life. Uh, you got kids, amen, they don't have a filter. They don't have an understanding that, uh, of, of uh, repercussions and consequences. They don't understand that some of the stuff they do can cost them their life. Hallelujah. They see the videos. They see the shows. Amen. Hallelujah. They see the, the things with kids with accidents and wrapped around poles. But yet, amen, they think that they can live, amen, through something else that somebody didn't live with. Hallelujah. Every time you take a breath, amen, that proves that you're human. Hallelujah. And you can leave here. Every time you cut and you bleed, you're human. Every time you need to eat food, amen, you need that for your body. That means you're human. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, amen, that means, amen, you can die. If you can live, you can die. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we are thankful to God and we give God praise. Hallelujah. We're not vain about what God has given us. Amen. We're not arrogant about life itself, but we cherish every day, every breath, every moment that God gives us. Hallelujah. We ought to give God glory, honor, and praise for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are vain in their life. Hallelujah. People walk through their whole life with hatred because of the things that, amen, they had to deal with. And the problems in life has been so, hallelujah, brutal and hurt, a hurtful to them. Amen. Hallelujah. They're constantly under attack by somebody and something. Amen. They didn't have a father. They didn't have a mother. You know, they back, got battered and abused. Amen. Or they lived in poverty. Amen. Or something could have happened. Amen. Where they're attacked their whole life. Amen. So all that hate that come in is coming out of them. Amen. 
hallelujah, they haven't had a great life in their eyes. Hallelujah. But every day God gives you is a day to get it right with God. Hallelujah. Every day that God gives you, amen, is the day to just say, Lord, I give my life to you. Amen. I put my life into your hands. You don't have to worry. Hallelujah. And don't you be afraid. My life is in your hands, God. Hallelujah. My life is in your hands, God. It hasn't been a good one. It hasn't been a great one. I, I had some heartache sometime. I had some headaches sometime. I had to come through sometime. Hallelujah. But I'm so glad. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm still here. Hallelujah. Them boys sing that song through it all. I made it through another day's journey. And God kept me here. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Anybody grateful hey, even for your hardships? Amen. Even for your headaches, even for your pain. We honor these soldiers and just imagine what they went through, amen, in their life, in their final moments, in their final, I have no clue. Brother Nelson has a better clue than we do, amen, hallelujah, because he was out there in it. Hallelujah, the soldiers have a better clue and a better understanding, amen, hallelujah, because they've seen people die all around them, hallelujah. I was looking at this program on the tomb of the unknown soldier, hallelujah, amen, and they found, amen, a graveyard over there in France, hallelujah, of, of, of American soldiers, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And France had did it. They, America didn't want to make a tomb of own them, sir. But France had did it. Amen. Germany had did it. Amen. Then they said, well, we're going to have one. And they called in a general. Amen. To come and get one of the bodies of that tombstone. Amen. Of, um, of the dead over there in France. The American dead over there in France and from that graveyard and they dug up five bodies amen for and one for him to select amen but when they got there the French soldier said amen you shouldn't do it you need an enlisted man hallelujah to pick that body amen because you hallelujah the, the ones that's out there sweating and dying and fighting hallelujah so they picked this guy that had in, got injured in the war World War One. amen hallelujah in the name of Jesus and he, and he took some flowers and he placed it amen on the tomb Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On the casket of this particular soldier, not even knowing who he was, but he believed it'd be a friend of his who died in the war. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So they brought it over. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the tomb that they go and salute every day and do the walking and doing all the, uh, amen. I don't know the military term of amen, doing the addressing and all that. Amen. Acknowledging not just that person and that one person, whoever that is in that tomb represents everybody that did and make it home hallelujah that died amen hallelujah we might not know their name everybody didn't come back complete amen hallelujah some people left some body parts over there amen some people left their whole body over there amen hallelujah they didn't get the, nothing but the dog tags and sometimes you didn't get that amen hallelujah thank you jesus but they acknowledge it amen hallelujah what these people went through and sometimes, amen, hallelujah, when we think we've been through life and everything we've gone through is wrong, amen, everything that we've gone through is the worst ever. Just think about what somebody else has gone through, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and knowing that God can bring you out, amen, hallelujah. So, amen, people are vain over their souls, their life. People are vain and hate their life, amen, and hate everybody in their life, hallelujah, and the devil wants you to kill as many people as you can and take your own life hallelujah and commit suicide because of that hate he wants you to exude that hate everywhere amen you see him they're walking in schools you see him they're walking in, in in churches amen you see him they're walking through the malls amen hallelujah with hate amen hallelujah and hate can make you do some things amen hallelujah amen you can get that from depression depression is the spirit of suicide amen hallelujah and so you can hate your life to the extent amen that you'll take somebody's life that didn't do nobody wrong hallelujah didn't do nothing wrong hallelujah but but hatred can cause you to do evil amen to your brother evil to your family hallelujah that's what hate can do amen hallelujah thank you G. i hope i'm helping somebody this morning hallelujah amen and some, amen, the Bible says, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. Some people, they, they, they compromise, amen, and they give themselves, amen. They do things. They give their life, amen. <laughs> if you look back over your life and you think things over, look at all the people that you gave your life over to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The people that you rode in cars with and you knew better that they had no business driving. Hallelujah. A vehicle. Amen. Hallelujah. And people that you sat with and sat in, and sat in dangerous places with folk. Amen. Just to go up in that place. Hallelujah. With somebody that, amen. Hallelujah. Didn't mean you no good. What a man will give in exchange to us. So we've given our life for money. 
We've given our life, amen, for success. We've given our life for power. We've given our life for acknowledgement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the Bible says, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, he, he will what? Direct your path. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I come to let you know. Amen. He that lose his life shall save it. Amen. Hallelujah. He that gives his life, amen, shall gain life. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus came, what? That we may have what? Life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Whatever your circumstances is through this, amen, I might not hit your area. Hallelujah. I might not hit your, your place where you, amen, hallelujah, went through the, in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. But somewhere in there. Amen. Hallelujah. It's somewhere that where you, amen, you as a believer, you as a person in this life, amen, have questioned your life. Amen. And pitied your life. And amen. Amen. Even blame God for the life that you live and question God about, amen, the things that you're going through in this life. But I come to let you know there is an answer. Hallelujah. There is a way out. Hallelujah. Because God, amen, hallelujah, has given his life. Amen. Hallelujah. He's given his son. Amen. And his son has given his life that we may have right to the tree of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We as God's people. Thank you, Lord. We as believers in Christ Jesus. Amen. Not only need to honor and respect. We have services. We have events. Amen. Based on the life of Christ, the death, burial and resurrection of Christ. Amen. Every year we do different events and wear nice clothes and do kind things. Amen. Based on the life of Jesus Christ. But we need God needs more than that. Somebody say more than that. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say he needs more than that. Hallelujah. God needs your life. God needs your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He needs you to give your life to him. Amen. We need to live a life of righteousness before God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. But all you drawing is some nonsense. That's because we all about nonsense. Amen. All we drawing is foolishness. Hallelujah. Because that's what we're about. We're about foolishness. Amen. Hallelujah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, what? That shall he also reap hallelujah thank you jesus jesus gave his life matthew 21 through 28 talks about jesus gave his life for a ransom for us amen hallelujah he gave his life amen that we may have life hallelujah amen it breaks through uncertainty it breaks through vanity it breaks through hatred it breaks through ego hallelujah amen it breaks through hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah because when they nailed him in the hands amen and in his feet when they put the thorn on his head he said it is finished hallelujah the veil was ripped from top to bottom hallelujah no more did you have to go through man hallelujah to get to god oh it is jesus it's jesus in my soul hallelujah i touched the hem of his garment and his blood has made me whole hallelujah it is him that has given his life as a ransom for mankind he's given himself as a as a ransom for your soul he's given himself as a ransom for everything that you've done wrong all he said is call on in his name. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We not only need to honor the life of Christ, but we also need to, amen, adhere to it. Amen. And make his life our life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Make his life our life. Because there's an end coming. Just like there was a birth. Hallelujah. You got to leave this world. We all got to leave here one day. And what will be said of us at that last day when, they, when, when the slow singing and the flowers and the coffin sits before? Hallelujah. The people. What will be said? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What will be said of thee? Amen. Micah says, he has shown thee, O man, what is good and what the Lord has required of we know what he requires. Hallelujah. We know the word. We know the truth of his word. He has come that we may have life. The thief, the devil's job is to take, strip us from everything that's like God and present us before God a sinner. Because flesh and blood is not going to enter. Sin is not going to enter in. So he has to present before us, before God, us as sinners unrepentant before God 
so we can join him at the lake of fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But whosoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Asking it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be opened unto you. Jesus has made a way. Just like God provided everything we needed in the garden. Just like God has provided everything that we need for life. Christ have made. Amen. Hallelujah. He has prepared and made everything that we need for this life here and for the life to come. He's given us his spirit so it may dwell within us that we live holy and righteous before him and do what's pleasing in his sight. Hallelujah. That we may live right here and now. They say you shall receive what? Power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The spirit of God. Hallelujah. In the, in the bodies that were made in his image and in his likeness. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The thief comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy my brothers and sisters. But Jesus is here for life. Receive Jesus for life. Follow Jesus for life. Be in relationship with Jesus for life. You go to prison. What you in for? I did this. I did that. You go to ask somebody, what's, what you in here for? You can't even go to that dude. You know why? Because they keep all those. Ha, that'll preach right there. They keep all the lifers together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> they don't even let them mingle with the regular population. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see them. They go through and change. They go like this. They go walking through. Hallelujah. Like penguin. How did they go walking through like this? Who's that? He's a lifer. Hallelujah. Amen. September 18th, he, they, gonna, they can give him the needle. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How, he's a lifer. How many lifers? Hallelujah. Do we have for the kingdom today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 91 says, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. We call it longevity. Amen. In order to have longevity here. Amen. He said, honor your mother and your father that your days may be long upon the earth. How much longer would it be if we honor God? Above all, that we honor the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and that we receive his spirit and honor it by following the spirit of God. How much life will we have? How much longevity will we have? Being old is not, <laughs> amen, that's one aspect of it. But, amen, to be vibrant. I saw a 108-year-old woman running a track. I don't know if y'all saw that. Amen. She, she was in uh, some sort of Olympics. Amen. And they had a track meet for uh, um, uh, centurions. Amen. All those 100 and up. And up. She was 108. She, I am say, Lord, that don't make no sense. I need to do something. She can go like this and come down that track for about 20 yards. Amen. Hallelujah. She was getting up and going. Amen. They had some other 100 year olds up there. Amen. Exercising and running and track and stuff. Longevity. Amen. Which a lot of people seek. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have to give our life to Christ and allow him to have the preeminence of our life, our heart, our mind, and our soul. Let us all stand. I gave you my heart. I gave you my mind. You gave me an abundant life. God wants us to have the abundance of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank he, wants to, he said, I would that you prosper. Isn't that what he said? And be in good health, even as what? Your soul prosper. That's what he wants. He wants you to have the best life ever. The best life here and there. Here, there, and everywhere. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for this day that you've made. We're going to rejoice and be glad. And we thank you for the word of truth, the word of life. Lord God, hallelujah. And this subject that you gave to me today, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And so we're grateful to you, Lord God. We ask you to bless, touch, and deliver right now our hearts, our minds, our souls, our bodies. Bless us as your children to do what's right, to do what's pleasing in your sight, Lord God, to give our life to you. Amen. I give myself away so you can use me. Lord God, and we ask, Lord God, that you touch and deliver right now. Make a way out of no open doors that seem closed. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody say, 
Amen. Come on, put your hands together and give God praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenai Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.